Hello, and welcome to the Daily Gas of July 6, 2023, called Squaring the Square by Philip Newman. Look at the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Consecutive pairs, digits in cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive, have a difference of one. No negative constraint, other pairs of digits may also be consecutive. So we'll go over that real quick. A white dot here between two cells means that if this was a one, then this would have to be consecutive to it. It would have to be a two. If this was, for instance, maybe a six, let's say, this could be five or it could be seven. So both of those options are available because five is consecutive to six and six is seven. So that's what that means. And the negative constraint, so no negative constraint means exactly what it says. Other pairs of digits may also be consecutive. So just because these two don't have a white dot between them doesn't mean this couldn't be like a one and a two, right? This is still allowed. Then the next part is killer. So digits in cages cannot repeat and must sum to the total given. So these are just killer cages. So, you know, for example, five, it means that the two digits in this cage, this little outlined area must sum to five. So that's it for the rules. Let's just get right into it. All right, so right away, the easy one that I'm looking at is four. And I also see another four here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pencil mark the fours one and three. And the reason is, is because the only pair that can sum up to four that doesn't repeat digits. So it's not like you can put a two and a two right here and here. So in fact, this must be one and three. Now, what does that do for us here? This has to be either a two or a four. This is a one, this is definitely a two, but if it's a three, it can be either next to a two or a four. If that's the case, it needs to add up to five. So for two to be to add up to five, you need a three, and for four to add up to five, you need a one. What that does again is this must be again a two or a four, just as when this was a one, three, this had to be a two, four. To make six. Oh, actually, wait a second. To make six, this can only so you can either have one five or two four. If this can only be two or four, then this must also be two or four, I think. Let me make sure that makes sense. One three can only be next to two four. This is two, this has to be four. If this is four, this has to be two. Yeah, so that's it. And then this is, okay, this has a little more option. This can one be, be one three or five, which means this can be, Add up to seven. If it was one, then it would be six. If it was three, it would be four. And if it was five, it would be two. You can't put six here, which means this can't be one, which means it'll be three or five. And oh my goodness, and it can't be it can't be three because three is already used in this box. So that makes this the five I'm pretty sure yeah because it couldn't be one or it couldn't be one or three I don't even know why I was considering one three five it can only be five which means this is two it can still be consecutive to one or three but this is definitely four because two is not consecutive to five which makes that the two which makes this the four which gives us that this is the one this has to be three because four is not consecutive to one and this is one all right we're good so far. Two. All right. This, a 10. So I'm looking at this 10 real quick. The 10 needs to have a low digit. And the low digit has to be either 2 or 4. Because this is a 1, 3. It can't be 2, which means this has to be 4. Which makes this 3, which makes this 1. Makes this two makes this eight. This can be. Let me just solve this real quick. Four six to make our our ten, but eight eight can be next to seven or nine, but it can't be seven because you can't put seven and seven, which means it has to be nine and five, and five is consecutive to six. Okay, so we're good. Um. 
Can we do something similar here? 13. How do we make 13? We make 13 with 4 and 9 on the ends, 5, 8, 6, 7. All right. Um, it's not as constrained as I hoped. Maybe I should start looking at Sudoku. Okay. I'm glad I said that. Where does 1 go? 1 can only go here. What are we missing? We're missing... Missing two what? Two seven and eight. This can be all three. This can only be seven and eight, and this can only be two and eight. Yeah, two and eight. Or no, not two and eight. Sorry, two and seven. Um, what is next? Four threes. Three. Nope. Wrong. Wrong three. Oh, I switched to letters. Sorry about that. Threes. Anything else constrained here? Five is constrained to the top. Ones are done. Twos are not done, but they, they can't do, go there. Oh, yes. No. Threes are in the middle, fours are done, five is up top, and then six, seven, and six, seven, eight, and nine have a lot of a lot of options. So let me let me not think about that. Oh, but I do have alright, I'm missing what? I'm missing six, seven, eight from here. Six, seven, eight. Alright. Um from here. I'm missing five, six, nine. Five. Oh, well, we already knew five can't go here. Can this be six or nine? Can be. Oh, not eight, nine. And this can be five, six, or nine. I think. I don't see any restrictions on those. Maybe Sudoku is not where I'm supposed to be looking. All right, let me let me let me go back to here. So, what is the most constrained? The 16 is the most constrained. So I was looking at really low numbers. So I jumped to four right off the bat because four is is really easy. It only has one pair. But 16 also only has one pair. It's seven and nine which is currently unresolved, but if we do what we were doing before, what can be next to seven and nine? Well, next to seven and nine, you can only have six and eight, right? Because eight is next to seven and nine and six is next to seven. So six and eight, and of course, this can't be six. So this must be eight, which means that the only option for a 13 cage is five, which means this has to be four or six. It can't be four, which means it is in fact six, which makes this eight. Um, this has to be seven or nine, and this has to be six or eight. Oh yeah, of course it can't be eight, sorry. So this must be six, which makes this nine, um, which gives us a seven here. It gives us our five here. We have this seven here. We have two here. We have eight here. 7 out of here, pull 5 out of here. We're now missing 3, 6, 8, 9. So this is, okay, this can't be 8, 6, or 9. I think this is the only place for the 3. And this becomes an 8, 9 pair. Pull a 7 out of here because it's a 6, 8 left over at the bottom. And actually, what are we missing? We're missing 8, 9, and 7. These two can be seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's do this pair down here since we know what this has to be. And then let's consider similar things. Two is the digit that can only go here, which means we are missing three, four, and we're missing one. Let's go one, three, four. Oh, let's actually do it this way. One, three, four. Three and four 
have to go in the center here, right? 3, 4 here, 3, 4 here. So yes, this is a 3, 4 pair in the middle. We're missing 5 and 9, which are the pair here. And we're missing 6 and 7, which is our pair here. All right. We're missing 1, 2, and 4. This can't be 1 or 2, so this must be 4. And then we're still missing 1 and 2, and neither of these are resolved. All right. What can we do about restraints here? And that's a good chunk of options. Oh, 16 again. I, 16 is 7 and 9, which let's just do this now. So we're not uh, 9, 7, 6, 9, 8. So we're just done up top. Let's place in the 7, 9. Um, it can't be, not, this can't be 9, because if this was 9, this would have to be 8. It can't be 8, which means this is 7, this is 9. That makes that 8 by default. This 2. Um, this can't be 8, it must be 6, which makes this 4. To make 10, we can't put a 3 and a 6, or not 10. To make 6, we can't put the two from the 10 cage into here, which means this must be the one, this must be five. Let's start putting things where they belong. Five, nine, missing one and four. We're not fully constrained there, but now, now, what are we missing? We're missing nine, nine goes here. We're missing two which goes here, we're missing three and, what are we missing, three and eight. I was looking at this eight and I got distracted. This is three, this is eight. We are missing one, four, and five. This can't be one or four, so this must be five. One, four, I think we now have a one, four pair across the bottom row. Missing one, three, and seven. This can't be one, but it can be three, seven. And this can be one, three, and seven, I think. And here we're missing three, four, and two. Two, three, four, this can't be, this can't be two or four. This must be the three. This must be the two. This is the four. This is one. This is three. This is seven. This is one. This is four. And now we're starting to get somewhere. We're missing three, five, and seven. This can't be five, but it can still be three or seven. This can be three, five, or seven. And this can be three, five, or seven. We'll pencil mark that. And then we're missing what from here? We're missing six, eight, nine. Can't be eight or nine, it must be six. So this is left with an eight, nine pair, which is resolved nine, eight. We'll do the seven, six. That gives us our three. Gives us a four, three. We have a five, seven pair. What are we missing from this column here? We're missing three and four. This must be a three, this must be a four. We're missing six and seven. This must be the seven, this must be the six. And we're still missing five and seven. This has to be the five, which makes this the seven, this the five, and finally, this is a one. And we're done, 1254. Yeah, I got a little tripped out there and I was going into Sudoku probably sooner than I should have, but and and I, I missed the trick here with the 16. I was so focused on the lower levels, the four, that could be constrained, that I wasn't thinking about the highest sum that we can constrain, which is the 7, 9 to make 16. So, yeah, it's always good to look out for those things, and this will definitely, uh, definitely is something that will guide me in my next uh, killer Sudoku.
Thanks for watching.